In an ancient Chinese legend, the fox spirit is a creature with extraordinary charm and mystical powers, able to freely change its form among humans. This story takes place in a quiet village during the late Qing Dynasty, where a fox spirit named Ashton lived. Ashton was handsome and gentle, often transforming into a young scholar to wander the human world, seeking the joys of life and understanding human emotions. One spring afternoon, Ashton arrived at a village surrounded by peach blossoms. By the stream at the edge of the village, he met a woman washing clothes named Violet. Violet had a delicate appearance and a gentle temperament, and her clear eyes instantly enchanted Ashton. Ashton did not reveal his true identity, instead introducing himself as a student from a neighboring village, and thus began frequent conversations with Violet. They quickly formed a deep emotional connection. As spring approached, Ashton and Violet's relationship grew closer. At dusk, Ashton would always arrive at the stream to wait for Violet to finish her chores, and they would take walks together. They walked along the stream, stepping over moss-covered stones, occasionally stopping to watch the fish darting about in the water. During these moments, Ashton would share bits of knowledge about nature, explaining why dragonflies danced over the water or how to recognize different bird calls. Violet listened intently, deeply admiring Ashton's knowledge and profound connection with nature. At the end of spring one morning, Ashton invited Violet to a secluded garden on the mountain. He had prepared this surprise for her, using his magical powers to make the garden eternally spring-like, with blooming flowers and fragrant aromas. Violet was deeply drawn to this sea of flowers, almost believing she had entered a dream. There, they picnicked, talked, and Ashton played the gookin, with its melodies echoing through the flowers. Violet was moved to tears by the beauty Ashton had created for her. However, as their relationship deepened, Ashton's worries also grew. He often walked alone to an old willow outside the village, gazing at the night sky and struggling with whether to reveal his true identity to Violet. He feared that once the truth was known, their beautiful relationship would instantly shatter. One moonlit night, Violet found Ashton under the willow, deep in thought. She gently took his hand, asking if he was troubled. Looking into Violet's caring eyes, Ashton felt even more torn. These wonderful but brief days saw the love between Ashton and Violet grow silently. Though Ashton harbored a secret, every moment they spent together became a precious memory in their hearts. In this relationship, Ashton learned the depths of human emotion, and Violet gradually felt the power of love from a different world. As time passed, Ashton always found opportunities to meet with Violet. They would chat under the peach trees or stroll gently by the stream, spending many beautiful moments together. Ashton increasingly felt his love for Violet, but he also knew his true identity as a fox spirit might become an obstacle between them. When Ashton decided to reveal his true identity to Violet, a tragic event occurred. A Taoist priest entered the village one sunny afternoon. He was an elderly man with a stern face, dressed in traditional robes and carrying copper bells and talismans. He claimed to be able to detect and expel demons. His arrival sparked curiosity and awe among the villagers. He set up a simple altar in the village square and began a ritual to purify the village and protect the villagers from demons. As he chanted spells and the copper bells rang, a mysterious and tense atmosphere began to pervade the village. Days later, 
the priest claimed to sense a strong demonic presence in the village. He told the villagers that a powerful monster, capable of transforming into human form, was hiding among them. This claim caused panic and unease among the villagers, who began to suspect each other, fearing that the monster had infiltrated their daily lives. The priest increased the frequency of his rituals, patrolling the village with a peachwood sword and chanting exorcism spells. He also asked the villagers to hang talismans on their homes and not to go out at night to prevent the monster from causing trouble. The villagers were influenced by the priest's actions and words, and the village became quiet and tense at night. In this atmosphere, Ashton knew his secret could no longer be hidden. The priest's ability and determination posed an unprecedented threat to him. He began to worry that once his identity was revealed, not only would he face persecution, but Violet could also be in danger. Under the priest's pressure, the village's atmosphere became increasingly oppressive, and Ashton and Violet's time together was filled with anxiety and uncertainty. Ashton knew he was in danger and was more concerned about Violet's safety. As the priest's investigation intensified, Ashton could no longer hide his true identity. After his identity as a fox spirit was discovered by the villagers, it caused panic and betrayal. Although Violet was shocked, her love did not change. She firmly stood by Ashton's side, facing the villagers' accusations and misunderstandings together. Facing immense pressure and danger, Ashton decided to leave to protect Violet from any harm. On a dark and windy night, he said goodbye to Violet and vanished into the night as a wisp of blue smoke. Violet was heartbroken, understanding that she could no longer spend her life with Ashton, her heart filled with endless longing and regret. Years later, Violet still lived alone in that small village. She often went to the stream alone, gazing at the water and recalling the happy times she spent with Ashton. Although Ashton no longer appeared, every spring he made the peach blossoms bloom more vibrantly than in previous years, as if sending his unchanging love to Violet from afar. This peach blossom forest became a permanent testimony to their love and part of the village legend, reminding future generations of the power of love to overcome all difficulties and barriers.